pay attention. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Sunwandu, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human, Part Four. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a whole playthrough of this uh, this game. Uh, I might do like maybe maybe a Part Five, and then stream the rest of it on Twitch. Uh, but I'm not sure. I'm, I don't. I'm not sure. Did if you I'm... know the motto of Detroit is "We hope for better things"? I I know now. Anyways, without any further ado. Let's get it! Perfect. 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 Connor, baby. <clears throat> Find Amanda. Who the hell is Amanda? Okay. Can I not cross this path? Okay, I guess that's disrespectful. I feel you. Oh, I think that's right over there. Yo, this is beautiful. Jeez. Hey, Amanda. How are you? Hello, Amanda. Oh. Connor, it's good to see you. You too. Finding that deviant was far from easy. That was that hard. You showed great skill in your investigation. Thank you. But you knew deviants could be unstable. Uh... You should have been more cautious. I thought I could make it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Uh it's traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Kind of a dick, but I mean, he's pretty chill. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Uh, adapt, to be honest. I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the Does investigation she not like that, that? avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. I mean, you're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Okay. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. What? I was going to say, whose story is this now? <clears throat> Alright. Look for the homie Hank. Don't cross the line. What happens if I do? Don't cross the line. I'm getting nervous. Ah, damn it. There it is. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Yeah. What's going on? Tensions in the Did Arctic have reached a new level. The no Russian access without prior authorization. Reported to have clashed last night. What? Sir? Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. At least he wasn't a dick. Let 
I'm just gonna wait for him. Hi, honey. You okay? Let's stand up, Listen. Ford. Lost Android. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Let's go over here. Can we talk to her? Damn it. Captain Fowler. Never mind. Can't can't go there. Uh, let's go to the break room. See what's what's going on there. <laughs> Fuck! Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Yeah, we got a problem. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. I mean, thanks. could have uh, got somebody out of the android if you hadn't fucked it up. Yo, do we have a problem right now? Bro, you're on my list. You're now on my list. Just like Todd's on my list. Ah, ignore him. Bro, you on smoke? Like, what's good? Never seen an android like you before. Model, are you? I'll answer. RK-800. Can't you I'm read? I'm a prototype. A prototype? A pro yeah, Android I'm a prototype. Detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Probably. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. <laughs> uh, Can I move on? Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> Refuse. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Who the f Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. <laughs> Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Public Although opinion. Police assistant androids have existed for several years now. This would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no one was available to answer our oh, questions. Oh, I'm so pissed off right now. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna answer and listen. Uh, I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Damn. CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. 
<laughs> well, leave. Then, I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. Oh, not my battery, so oh my god. Alright, uh, let's check on the homie Hank. Um. Understanding. I get the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. We got a pal, bro. Partners. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Uh, desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Let's just start. Uh, Fowler? Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Hours. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Oh, sorry. It's really irritable. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to unlock? Can I leave? I can't leave. All right. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Cool. Uh, case reference attack. Charles Bell. Claims attacked by, uh, okay. Case disappearance. Squirt Lopez. All the android missing. Okay. Can I? No. Attack, Sarah Corn, <laughs> Cornwall. Uh, wow. Sex Android. Wow. Two hundred and forty three files. Damn. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit, and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. AX-4- Cora! He was talking about Cora! Wait, she's an AX-400, right? I'm pretty sure. Be direct. You shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Uh. Determine. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh, Listen, okay. asshole. Damn. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Okay, maybe that was the wrong thing to say. You know what? I don't even care at this point. I got time for the disrespect. Was Carl? Yep. All right, let's go.
We gotta revive the fire. Why? It'll be fine. Find some. Alright, great. What's this? Alright. Yeah, I know. I gotta look for wood. Ah, there we go. I. Wasn't. I. I'm getting wood. Oh, jeez. What are we doing? How are we doing this? I was looking in the mirror. Find some clothes. Nothing. Wait, is that a hand? Whoa, why is there a hand sticking out the curtain? Uh, is there a... I'm trying to peek in the curtain. You know what? We'll check on that in a second. it is That's a lot of hair. Or not. I like the short look. Ooh. Uh, let's go with white. Ooh. Brown. Black. Hey, let's go with black. I actually kind of like that. Wait, she can remove that too? Yo, doesn't that hurt? They just heal right back. Alright, that's cool. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This mother... Man, this man is crazy. Can I close the curtain? Nah, I got I got We gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Wait, Connor's here? That's all for now. Oh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deep How would you do. know? They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Uh, nigga, what? <laughs> it's good for her. A it's a dead animal. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. No, you won't. We will do just like humans do. 
Not really. Seems like we're meat. No, I, what? Come, come and sit down. No, we about to leave. <laughs> nah, nah. That's very kind of you, Raj. We gotta but go. We have to go. Yeah. Go. Yes. <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. No, we about to leave uh, now. We will eat together, just like a family. No. The father. No. The mother. No. And the little girl. Hell no. <laughs> Refuse? No, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. Bro, are you about nah, to stop playing with me, bro? Girl's going nowhere. Throw hands right now. Uh. Explain. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. Wrong! <laughs> Humans eat dead animals. I know that. Why are you triggered right now? Uh, worried. You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. He just wants her to eat. That's all. Uh huh. Damn it. Uh, fine. Okay. We'll eat together. Damn it. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. I didn't want to. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> Great. Yo, we gotta go succulent, now. You'll see, succulent, succulent, succulent. <laughs> Nasty. Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. Nah, what did not. she say? Oh, uh, lie. <laughs> she said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. I'm the sorry, Alice. The human is not gonna regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> This is going to be succulent. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Succulent. <laughs> Can you find a different word to say than succulent? That's... Go ahead. Eat. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> oh my god, yo, this man is triggered. <laughs> nah, bro. Ask about corpse. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. Liar. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You're such a liar. Insist. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. Damn, I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> no. It's just that... Ralph can't control his anger. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Not like this. Then let us go. Anybody home? What? There's blue blood on the fence. Oh. I know another android was here. Damn. Wait, we're playing as. Oh my god. Yo. Things just got ten times as worse. But what if we do. Wait. What if we... Where are they at? Oh my god. Uh... I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Right. What else am I? Are there any other androids here? Other androids? 
No. Ralph is alone. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Is that them right there? I see them! I see the one of the stairs. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. You should check upstairs anyways. There is a dead body up there. We can't go upstairs now? Yeah, because they're right there. Run quicker! Oh, no! Connor, what's going on? It's here! Call it in! Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Am I running? Oh, okay. I'm, all right. Damn. I was trying not to find them, but I guess I was wrong. They're over there. Please don't make this a quick time. My anxiety kicks in. Don't shoot, we need it alive. Oh, please. Oh no. Please don't do this to me. Oh, my heart can't take it. I feel like I'm a mess up. That's insane. Ah! No! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh my heart! Oh! Go, 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 go! Hey! Where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Hey, you will get yourself killed! Do not go after him, Connor! That's an order! Ah, no, give up! <laughs> yo, oh, yo, my heart. Mm. Okay, okay, just pay attention, just pay attention, go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo -hoo -hoo. No, 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 let's go, let's go, come on. Go, 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 no! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, did we make it? We made it. Oh, man, we made it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my heart. Okay. Oh, okay. Whew. Yo, we survived that. Let's go. <laughs> I knew I knew I was going to mess up at least once. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, oh, Marcus! Alright, I think I'm gonna end it right here. And then pick this up in part five. Or part, part four. I don't know. I don't know what part I'm on at this point. <laughs> no, yeah, part five. Part five. Yeah.
So I'm the uh, 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 tongue tied. <coughs> uh, I'm in the episode right here. This is crazy, bro. This is about the second time I almost lost Carl and Alice. All right, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace.